Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the second installment of Zoom In on the Halal Metropolis. My name is Usman Khan with the Halal Metropolis team. For those who are new to the series, Zoom In on the Halal Metropolis is a video series where we take a closer look at how the Muslim communities of Southeast Michigan are coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. For returning viewers, thank you for joining us yet again. Today we will be speaking with Dr. Fashid Qureshi, who not only has an illustrious career as an engineer working for the last 25 years in the automotive industry, most recently working on autonomous vehicles, but is also the founder and chairman of Dice Foundation USA, a nonprofit organization reinvesting the expertise of expats to foster innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship culture back into the country of Pakistan. Today, we'll be talking to Dr. Qureshi on how DICE mobilized the network to respond to the COVID pandemic. Dr. Uh, Qureshi, thank you for joining us. How are you doing? Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you. So maybe uh, we could start by you. Could you tell us a little bit how, how uh, about your vision and motivation for creating the DICE Foundation? Yeah, sure. Um, the DICE Foundation, uh, we started about, uh, about 13, 14 years ago, this program. Uh, so far for the last, I would say 13, 14 years, primarily we have been working in Pakistan. And the mission of DICE is to really create a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, because as we know that Pakistan is, uh, is an underdeveloped country and, uh, and we truly believe we all know that innovation is the biggest tool to bring prosperity to any nation. And that's how although developed uh, nations has, has actually progressed. So, so we, we, want to bring, we want to bring that culture of innovation in, in the youth of Pakistan. So we, we every year, uh, we, for the last many, many years, we have large innovation exhibitions, which we do, uh, which we, we organize in Pakistan, in different parts of the countries in, in various universities, where innovations we have, like we do in health, textile, automotive, energy, and many, many other areas, and in creative art and media too. And where we, where, where the students bring their innovations from all over our parts of the country. And we also invite industry and, and venture capitalists and entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurs uh, to that platform. And, uh, and also some, bring some government, uh, government um, um, personnel there, uh, ideas to create a collaborative platform and bring everybody, all the stakeholders in one platform. So we, that, that is a very successful um, uh, go, initiative going on for many years. We have also created innovation chapters in far flung areas, the people who can't travel, the areas like Chitral and Gilgit mm -hmm. and Sakhar, where, where universities can do intra innovation events. So Alhamdulillah, we have been pretty successful in, in in creating this whole culture of innovation and and teaching people that how how much innovation is important uh, for the for the prosperity for the sustained prosperity of any nation. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, we recently just to mention here um, uh, we started an uh, initiative a few years ago something called National Innovation Basket. Mm -hmm. So where we are trying to do some mega projects where we are trying to mobilize. Uh, expatriates of Pakistani origin from all over the world to, to, to contribute to those national innovation basket projects. Mm -hmm. So four projects which we, which we have been doing, one is uh, uh, electric vehicle project. So we want to build a capacity and capability in, in uh, universities of Pakistan to, 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 to design and develop their electric vehicle for their market and also for exports. Uh, another project uh, which actually which has been uh, launched successfully is called uh, Rinstra, which is, uh, I, I will spell it for you, it says R-I-N-S-T-R-A, mm -hmm. Rinstra, and it's an app, uh, basically social media app, uh, just like YouTube or streaming platform. Um, we had, the, I mean, we have almost about 60,000 registered users on it, and it has been actually launched as a commercial company already. Um, it originated from, uh, from, from DICE, we incubated that, that whole concept. Um, now we, then we have another two projects going on. One is on the design and development of electric batteries uh, uh, and the lithium ion batteries and, uh, and other chemistry batteries. And because that capability in the next 10, 15 years, 20 years, I think that is an area which will bring, uh, I mean, a lot of, uh, I would say revenue for any nation who will get into it. 
Um, and finally, uh, there's current project which we, which we are working on is uh, called Farmer's Portal, or we call it as a Jadid Kisan Innovative Farmer. Uh, so we, because we do truly believe that if you empower and increase the um, uh, increase the uh, uh, purchasing power or bring some prosperity to the farmers, then the whole economic cycle is going to grow because they will buy clothes, they will buy watch movies, they will buy motorbikes, they will buy cars. So in that with the whole economic cycle. So we are working on a very, um, a very innovative project. We are trying to bring, uh, develop a portal which will bring all the resources, uh, especially it is very important when there's a climate change is happening small farmers, especially, they don't get uh, um, up-to-date information about weather and other things on a timely basis. And, and hence their, their productivity and uh, uh, of, of their lands is reduced. I mean, uh, they cannot produce as much they, they could have. And uh, so, that's, so those are the things which we are currently working on right now uh, yeah. from DICE platform. So I, I also know that uh, you were able to mobilize this network and this expertise to address some of the issues with COVID. Could you tell me a little bit about that project? Yeah, yeah. So last year, I mean, uh, that was the first year that we were able to only do our two innovation events mm -hmm. back home in Pakistan. And we were only doing, and we typically we do eight or nine. Um, so, so we thought that, I mean, I think uh, uh, it is, especially COVID-19, it just gave us a thought that really that innovation really has no boundaries. Mm -hmm. I mean, when, when it comes to problems like COVID-19, I mean, this is, this is not just specific to one country or Pakistan or USA. I mean, it is attacking everybody. So, so we said we, we really need to use our uh, exp expertise and our, our infrastructure and our innovation, which we have been doing to, to combat this, this problem. Mm -hmm. So we actually launched a global, global innovation competition um, uh, where many countries participated with their innovations. That was all virtual. It was done uh, through our DICE Innovation Portal. We have something called DiceInnovationPortal.com where people come in, they, they, they enter their innovations, and, uh, and then that's where the, those, those actual innovations were judged by many physicians from, 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 from Detroit here in, 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 in Michigan. Um, uh, and then, uh, so to, I would like to actually mention a few projects which which are worth mentioning. Mm -hmm. The first prize actually um, got uh, to a team from Detroit, where you are sitting right now. Wow. You know, and and that team uh, did something really amazing. And I'll talk about a little bit more. Let me just talk about a few more things. So so that project uh, I'll, I'll talk about more. And then there were a few more projects. There were two projects from Pakistan. One was like uh, a team developed as a community sanitization station mm. um, uh, for, for, for a big market in, 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 as, in Hyderabad in Pakistan. There was one uh, uh, team which created a, a combined the UV technology like ultraviolet technology, which is known to kill the germs like COVID-19 and the robots. So the, the robot, uh, they, were, they call it the UV robots, which can actually go and clean the sanitize the surfaces of hospitals and industries and so on. And, and very interestingly, there was a project from, from India, mm. okay, where, where there's a team, um, uh, team created a tele, a telehealth, uh, telemedicine uh, uh, project uh, to, to, to bring uh, like a, a less expensive uh, of, I mean, uh, services, medicine services to the communities. Um, so as so excellent projects, I mean, from all over the world. Uh, and, and this is how I think we can bring nations and, and the countries together, you know, because instead of, instead of talking about things which are uh, different among us, we should really start focusing on things which are more common between us. And COVID, this is one, I think, one positive thing which came out of COVID-19, one of the things that, that we started focusing on common problems. So, so as I just said, I, I would like to talk about that 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 for the the team which got the first prize from Detroit. It was amazing that that whole thing started with a tweet in March uh, March of last year, mm -hmm. where there was a there was a, there is a student who tweeted uh, about the COVID. I mean, you know, and then say like how we can join hands and everything, and then uh, with the hashtag all the students against COVID, mm -hmm. and soon that became a movement. I mean, you know, there were 30 countries which got involved with hundreds of volunteers in it, and they started uh, 
basically putting pooling their resources to mobilize their own communities in their countries and sharing the resources, how to combat with this COVID-19 issue and the problem. How do you actually teach people, teach children, teach communities, and how do you address all the issues which we are having? Uh, with, they, they even have started having workshops in different, different, uh, um, different topics. And, and right now, I mean, I think, um, and, and then, so uh, at that point when they, when uh, uh, they got won the prize in DICE, Dice Challenge, they, were, they had about, I think 60 countries, there were volunteers for 60 countries at that point and do a lot and working on various initiatives. This was really amazing. And, 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 and then we provided them some funds from DICE Foundation and uh, because we knew the process that if without some basic funds, sometimes a lot of good innovation, good of ideas get killed very easily. You know, so whatever the necessary funds they needed, and now Alhamdulillah, I mean, this is so amazing that they are. There are 90 countries. There are about 1,000 volunteers working on 25 plus initiatives right now, and 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 that is ranging from from domestic violence. How do you combat with the domestic? Because there are a lot of offshoots of this COVID-19 problem. So COVID-19 was one problem, but then there are multiple issues, social issues, which came out of it. Um, so domestic violence is becoming a very, very, um, uh, I mean, very key thing which we need to address because people are sitting home, sitting at home. I mean, you know, they're interacting more. So there are positives and negatives of both <laughs> of these things. Uh, there, there are issues where people, I mean, there are, uh, this, this team is teaching women how to, how to, uh, survive or, uh, or avoid acid attacks, you know, where people throw acids on, on, on women faces. There are things are happening like that. That is all offshoots of a lot of things which came out of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, mental health problems, they're asking, they're, they're having workshops on collection of blood uh, from different, different countries because there is a shortage of blood. Um, so this, this is an excellent example where the social media can be used to, to, for, the, for the positive things, to dealing with, 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 with problems which with the global nation is actually facing today. Um, so, 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 so very, I, I would just say that, I mean, I think I was, this was really a very um, uh, excellent example uh, of, of uh, innovative thinking. You know. well, th well, thank you, Dr. Qureshi, for speaking with us today and tell us about the inspiring work you're doing, but also how you're inspiring others to also kind of address these notions of innovation and, and how we address social issues. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, in the last, I would just like to say uh, one, one, one comment, uh, which I think is very near and dear to my heart, uh, that um, we all need to start, and this is what at DICE we started thinking about it now, that, uh, that, the, that the innovation does not have any borders. Um, and, 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 why, and why we need innovation, why I say that, it is very important because, because root to this whole problem is, is if you start looking at the problems across the world, take an example, hunger. I ask anybody, mm -hmm. what, is, what, is the, uh, what is the boundary? What is the religion of hunger? Tell me, what is the religion? What is the nation, nation of hunger? There's no nation, there's no religion of hunger. Hungry child in, in USA is the same as hungry child in Pakistan is the same in somewhere in Africa. So I think what we start all in, uh, this is what at DICE we are, uh, we, are, we are thinking now and we are gonna work on that we are putting this whole concept of a global nation because okay? so boundaries are going to be fluid. Everybody, different parts of various countries where the poverty, where there's a poverty, where there's hunger, that will be part of the borders of that global nation. And we will be using, because the two things we think are important. One is education, one is innovation. Education, there are a lot of things are going on. United Nations are working on it. We are gonna take this innovation as an initiative to, to combat the poverty and uh, in those in that global nation, which I call it, which does not have any, any border. So you will be seeing more initiatives coming out of DICE in that area. Well, thank you very much for having me, appreciate well, it. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Krishi. And uh, if you're a listener and you have a story you would like to share with us, will be featured on the Zoom in series. Please fill out the form linked below. Wishing everyone safety and health. Until next time, Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs>